So apparently I have to redo this commentary all over again since the last time it got like... Pfft. There was too many background noise. Right now everything is much more quiet so right now I can make the commentary without any background noise and any trouble. Why me? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I am your host Junario and today it is another Luxon Inventory. This time it is the first week of March so Luxon Inventory is going to be here for this weekend all the way to Monday so yeah anyways let's get started by the time I should post this video um, I should be editing the thir next 30 kpr video so look forward to that one anyways let's get started I have everything already set up and yeah let's get started so going into the Luxon inventory first and foremost is going to be the ski stalker wings the ski stalker wings it is a pair of wings that were available once from the old chaos chest rotation it is right here so if you're going to see them it's right over here i do have a banner so the banner like the flag on my back is does not come with the wings it's just this pairs of wings so let me get rid of the banner so this pairs of wings were once on the old khs rotation so if you don't uh, if you never got it then i would suggest get them it's 200 dragon coins it is 100 mastery points uh, it's tradable as well next up is going to be the stormy mount i'm going a little bit faster because i already did all of this and right now i'm just going to redo them and i'm going to be a little bit faster anyways this is the stormy mount the stormy mount it was also once on this store if you played on the pc but for those console players like myself this was on the khs rotation like back when this game was on beta so this was all on the old KHS rotation it is 50 mastery points 60 dragon coins and it is a tradable mount next up i'm going to change character real quick in three two one and this character has the next mount which is going to be the steaming cycle yeah the steaming cycle mount it is a 60 dragon coins well, 70 Dragon Queens, 50 Mastery Points, and this was once on the Login Token Mount. So, if you didn't get like all the Login Token Mounts, um, <clears throat> this is uh, this is one of them. So, get them if you don't have it already, because it is a tradable mount as well. And yeah, it is a pretty rare mount. Next up, I'm going to change back to my Knight right now. So, right now, I'm going to talk about both emblems, the Celeste and the Unyielding emblem. Uh, what the, I'll talk about the Unyielding, well, the Celeste emblems first, because it is the first on the list. And uh, what does the Celeste emblem do? By the way, let me just talk about the price. It is 65 Dragon Coins, 25 Mastery Points. This was also on the store, and you could buy, buy them with uh, Cupids, but not anymore. It is only on Lux and Inventory, and it is... A tradable mount, oh, a tradable emblem, not mount. So it's a tradable item, and yeah. Let me talk about Celeste emblem. Celeste emblem, what does it do is, if you pop a flask, once you pop a flask, all of your energy will be restored to 100%. So no matter how much energy you had if you had like even in the negative because it is possible to get in the negative you will pop a flash and you will restore to 100 percent so it is a really good a really good emblem for certain classes like the neon ninja like the tricolite and the neon ninja is not too bad now like using cells emblem is not too bad but i will say only if you're playing below uh, uber 10 because uber 10 enemies do like a lot of damage and you definitely need either death defying or unyielding uh, speaking of unyielding unyielding is the next emblem it's the same as the cell emblem it was once from the store you could buy it from cubits 65 drain coins 25 mastery points it is tradable as well what does this one do is if you pop a flash you will have you will have this green shield around your character or green cube whatever you want to call it this shield will protect you for all incoming damage you will not take any damage you will become invulnerable to all types of damage for two seconds so you will get uh you will not take any damage for two seconds not even one shots like the dreadnought nuke or the dot of the moon's like sweep one shot uh, this shield will protect you from those and 
it is quickly becoming one of the best emblems for U10. You probably, if you've seen one of my 30k PR video, you, you see that either I mention it or I use it uh, most of my characters when it comes to U10 grinding. Reason being is because enemies inside U10 do a lot of damage. So they do a lot of damage and you need like either Deathifying to protect yourself or use either a lifesteal ability like the Revenant subclass, Samantha ally or Vampire and Vanquisher or use Unyielding Emblem if you don't have any of those. And Unyielding Emblem will help you greatly in killing like all of the mobs without even dying a lot. Especially for those who doesn't use that define like myself. Uh, what I like to do with uh, Unyielding is, since my knight can pretty much one shot or two shot most bosses, pretty much all bosses, uh, what I do is I pop a flash since I will have the Unyielding effect. I will kill the enemy before the Unyielding goes away and then I'll just keep going my merry way. So I pop a flash before like uh, ba uh, going into the dungeon while fighting against the boss because I can resist all the damage that the enemy do before I, I attack them. And yeah, so that is an Unyielding Emblem. It is a really good emblem and I would strongly recommend you to get it. It is tradable so if you don't have the Dragon Quest you can buy it from the marketplace. Next up it is the 10 Bound Brilliance. 10 Bound Brilliance is 25 Dragon Coins each, 250 Dragon Coins total. Bound Brilliance it is used for uh, augmenting your gems so getting like gem augmenters is actually very useful uh, but it is only an end game thing so if you're unless you are in the really end game and you're only augmenting your gems I would not recommend you to get them because 10 pound brilliance is going to be around uh, I will say 20 to 100 power rank that is 10 pound brilliance that's 250 dragon quits for 2 for 100 power rank and that is only using superior focus so that is not very worth it uh, same with the meta 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 is 25 dragon queens each that is 10 of them so 250 dragon queens total if you want to buy all 10 of them it is a material that is used to upgrade your modules inside the geo uh, the geo caves i'm not going to buy them because as of right now literally the day before i'm recording this i maxed out all of my modules at level 10 so if i go inventory you're going to see that i have all of my modules at level 10 so i really don't need any meta matters anymore that is 10 meta matters it is you it is very useful so if you're doing the geo case get get them if you have the drank queen to spare but for the most part it is pretty expensive and i would not recommend it Next up it is the 15 Golden Horde Dragon Soul. Golden Horde Dragon Soul it is for the Luxian Dragon. If you haven't gotten any of them and you're just starting the game, I would strongly suggest you to get four of them. Uh, well five of them, not four of them, five of them. If you get five of them you will unlock this ally right here. This ally it is called the Golden Horde Dragon Ling. It gives you a plus 20% to your physical damage. 10% to your cooldown reduction and it has a chance of blasting them with fire. So blasting them with fire is just going to do like a little extra burst damage. It's, it's not too bad, it, is, it still does be pretty decent damage. So uh, so yeah, it, it is unlocked through consumption of 15, uh, 5, 5 Golden Hood Dragon so available from Luxon when he visits at the Trove's Hub. So get 5 of them so you can get the, uh, the ally and you will have a better time just uh, starting the game. But yeah, that is all of this Luxon inventory. I will go uh, into the items again. Scale Stalker Wings, All Chaos Chest Mount, the All Chaos Chest Wings, 200 Dragon Coins, 100 Mastery Points, it is tradable. Stormy, All Store Item for PC players, All Chaos Chest Mount for console players, 60 Dragon Coins, 50 Mastery Points, and it is tradable as well. Steaming Cycle, Login Token Mount, it is tradable as well. 70 Dragon Queens, 50 Mastery Points. Salus Emblem was once on the store and you could buy it with Cubits. 65 Dragon Queens, um, 25 Mastery Points and it is an emblem that restores all your energy when you pop a flask. Unyielding Emblem, same as the Salus Emblem. Tradable, 65 Dragon Queens. It was once from the store and you could buy it for Cubits. Uh, 25 mastery points and when you pop a flask you will get invulnerable chill for 2 seconds uh, making you take no damage for the next 2 seconds. 
10 bomb relics used for augmenting, 25 drank coins each, 250 drank coins total, 10 meta matters used to level up your modules, 25 drank coins each, 250 uh, drank coins total, and 15 golden horde dragon soul used to unlock the golden horde dragon al uh, dragon, uh, not the golden horde dragon dragon, <laughs> awesome. The Golden Horde Dragon, which is the Luxin Dragon, it, it, it will give you 15. There's 15 in this Luxin inventory. So, 15 at 4 Dragon Queens each, that's 60 Dragon Queens total. And if you haven't gotten any of the Dragon Souls, I would strongly recommend you to get at least 5 of them so you can get the Golden Horde Dragon Link Ally. Anyways, that is all I have to say. Thank you for watching, thank you for sticking around as always, uh, let me know what you think of this Lux and Inventory and if you've got any of them then that is good. Remember that at least get Unyielding Emblem out of all those emblems because Unyielding will help you greatly in number 10. And But yeah, that is all I have to say, once again leave a like if you want to help the channel grow, subscribe if you want to see more content like this and that is all for today once again thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and keep on hunting see ya